Okay, show me the fish. <laughs> Here we are, guys. Alec Pierce, Vintage Cuba. Here we are, guys, with that. Now, this is what I call a gun. We have already looked at a couple of Sams. A Sam Miller, my friend here from California, uh, a real old diver, a real spear fisherman, too. I used to see some of the pictures. I remember I asked Sam one time, I said, Sam, that's a fantastic picture of you with that 600 pound grouper. How did you get it into the boat? And it was a legitimate question. He goes out and he shoots a 600 pound fish and he manages to get it back to the side of the boat. Now what? I mean, Sam's a big, strong guy. He was that anyway. And but we're talking 600 pound fish. And anyway, he explained how you do it. Think about that. Maybe I'll get Sam to explain it to you too, but it blew me away. But anyway, he, the guns that he used a great deal were uh, five, six, seven feet long. This is more like the gun that I'm more accustomed to in the northeastern uh, part of the country and, uh, and certainly in Florida. We used to use these. If you had a gun more than four feet long, it was a big gun. This is pretty neat. And this is actually a fairly well-known gun. This is an Arbolet, which is a very, very common name. It was actually a, a brand name. This is a model of Arbolet. I think this is called the Canon. They came at different lengths and so on, Arbolet. And, uh, and, but then later, Arbolet actually became, it sort of became just a name for a gun. Like when, when you, when yeah, you, when you ever, a gun, when yeah. you're going to sneeze and you want to wipe your nose, you don't ask for a facial tissue. Uh, no. You ask for a Kleenex. And then when you ask for a gun, it was an arbalet. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you got an arbalet. Whether well, it was an arbalet or it not. It could be any. Yeah, yeah. So, so the arbalet was actually a very classic gun. But this is not what an arbalet looks like. As Sam has told me, it was pretty funny, and it's true in those days. We were all into do-it-yourself and modifying things and so on. Yeah, it, Sam has said that somebody would buy an arbalet on Friday. And Saturday morning, you'd never know the same gun. Yeah, you, this was you, typical. you'd show up for your buddies to go spearfishing on Saturday morning. Didn't look like the gun you bought at all. No. I noticed a few things on here that I recognize right away. First of all, you've got camouflage tape on there. Well, now, I know that because we use that for hunting. Yeah, now but the other thing, that, under the camouflage that? tape, okay. uh, wetsuit material, we get a flotation. Oh, oh neoprene. And yeah, also, I can feel it. I can feel it. In and it. also, it uh, gets goes closer to the uh, shaft, which ah, keeps us. You don't have that big drop. Bubble. Yeah. And the. Uh, well, I was going to ask you, sort of jokingly, if 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 the, if the fish couldn't see this gun because the <laughs> camouflage. No, up. it's not no. the right camouflage. Not the right, right camouflage. Well, that's pretty neat. So, and, uh, and the shaft has been modified, of course, with the fin. It, it used to have notches in it. Right. And what was the reason for that? What's wrong with the notch? Uh, they, they would break. Oh, and yeah, they weaken the shaft. Yeah, this is just for a small fish who is very close to you, uh, all of it, whatever. And you notice the muzzle has been cut away. Uh, yes. So the fish, when he cuts up, he will not bend your muzzle. Yeah, normally, this has a cover over yeah. it, and it's longer, too, but yeah. it has it completely enclosed. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this is, you've cut that away. So if the, if the shaft gets yanked, yeah, exactly. it doesn't break anything. And yeah. then you come down to that, you come down to the back, you have this... Shot core, yeah, that's not standard on our boat. That's not well, that's great too. So if the fish is yeah, this is all made, by the way. Yeah. Every bit of this is all made. Yeah. And then if you really get in trouble, we have what we call pulling the pin. Oh, yeah. the pin. There's no safety on uh, this. This is thing. like the uh, one we showed earlier with the yes. uh, inflatable float. Pull the pin. You pull the pin. Right. And that's just a cotter pin. Yeah, just a cotter <laughs> pin. <laughs> Stuck into a plastic fitting. You and, in. and there, the uh, way you go, the uh, pin. Yes. Pulls out this pin. Uh, oh, this is like that other one we did. Another there. dump pack. And there's your line. And the line's held with rubber bands, so that they slowly snap and get the... Uh, that's right. And that's the end of the, the gun. So and that's a, you know, you buy it on Friday night, on Saturday morning. Well, that's it. Like. So let me get this straight. So you bought this really nice, brand spanking new arbalet, shiny in the box on Friday exactly. night. Exactly. And you showed up on Saturday morning with this contraption. And actually a, a, a new butt pad on it. Also. <laughs> that's not, that was a, a and, accessory from another oh, gun. Oh, look me in the eye. <laughs> Did all this stuff actually help you get fish? No, but it makes you look good. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're honest. Well, you know, this is this is great. Yeah. This uh, line pack pull away is a great idea. Well, we Pulling always in, so. I'm, buying, I'm not so sure about the camouflage. Well, <laughs> it was just what you have available. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, I know about that. And when I started diving the same, there were no dive stores where I were. You lived in California. Yeah, they were I, mean, I, lived, no. in, I lived in Lindsay, Ontario. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, there were no dive stores in Lindsay, so. In, in, in California, we had them, and, and we had our loyalties to the dive, dive uh, shops, and also we had loyalty to dive clubs. We sure. had loyalty to each other. And things, uh, sometimes you look at a gun, you can tell where a person is from. You tell what club they Oh, really? Oh, oh, yeah. So, this, so it's certain things in here would say, oh, you're, thing, yeah. you're a bottom scratcher. Man, That's right? exactly right. Is that right? right? Oh, yeah. And are you a... Uh, uh, dolphin, or you're a uh, well, that's pretty uh, neat. Uh, Neptune, it's almost like Neptune. It's almost know. like a beggar game, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, well, I was Neptune's, and my son was a Neptune, yeah. and uh. Well, that's pretty neat. Yeah, that's pretty neat. It was a Long Beach Neptune's. What a what a club. Yeah, we always said if you. Uh, Set a record, you better set it a big one because we'd break it the next week. <laughs> yeah, well, those are the great days of spearfishing. Oh, right? my God. I, I only had one record, and it was for a uh, Southern California halibut. And uh, it only lasted for a year, but anyway, I got the halibut for 38 pounds. They don't shoot halibut here anymore, do they? Oh, yeah, they shoot halibut. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. If you can find them. Yeah. And they have to be 22 inches and... Takes I think seven or eight or ten years ago to twenty two inches. Oh, yeah. so so they're, they're not that common. Not not common anymore. Not the big ones. No. Well, it's still for spear fishing. Oh yeah, but yeah, you go like spear fishing. Unlike the old days. Yeah. No more six hundred pounders. No way. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Now there you go, guys. Another little story with my dear friend Sam Miller about spear fishing in the old days. And there's there's a gun. I can't begin to go through all the features that Sam's made on this gun. But it's pretty neat. Really neat. Yeah. So much fun, Sam. I so much my appreciate pleasure, talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Guys, that's it. Alec Pierce with Sam Miller in California uh, on Vintage Scuba. I hope you enjoyed some of that. Send us some questions or some comments. And if necessary, I'll get Sam to contact me from California and to answer them for you. All right. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is really neat, this thing. <laughs> I've intrigued you. <laughs>